Welcome to Centennial Hall, room 2205. This is a quick rundown of how the audio video system works in the room. Up here at the teacher station is our touch panel. There's a little button there that says press here to begin. I'll go ahead and do that. Then it's going to give me the options for the different projector modes that we can go into. Left only, right only, use both projectors or don't use a projector. For this video, we'll go ahead and hit use both projectors. That powers on both the projectors and brings down both of the screens from the ceiling. That whole process takes just over a minute, so while that's happening, we get a little please wait screen. And then we'll also uh, use this time to go ahead and talk about the lighting presets, which are on the right side of our touch panel there. We have five lighting presets, lights all on, lecture, two lectures, uh, one with the whiteboard and one without, a theater mode, which is going to dim all the lights for us, and a lights all off button. There's a couple other ways that we can control the lights. All those five presets are also over here on these five buttons on the wall control. And then there's also buttons right at the entrance of both doors on both sides of the room that will allow us to uh, control the lights. The next thing that we can talk about while we're waiting is our wireless microphone. If I power it on using the little switch on top there, then anything I say into the wireless microphone is going to be reinforced through the speakers that are in the room for us. Uh, on the right hand, lower right hand part of our touch panel is a little button that says audio control and if I press that on the left hand side it's a little gauge to adjust the level of our wireless microphone. Up will turn it up, down will turn it on, down and mute will mute that audio. Click back when I'm done with that and then I want to make sure that I hit the off button because the battery will drain uh, whether or not the microphone is being used, so make sure and power that off. Okay, so now we'll talk about the source select. Uh, on our screen here, we have our left projector and our right projector. And the way we'll know which one we're controlling is just by which one is highlighted up at the top here. Right now, left projector is highlighted, so whatever I press on the left projector will show up on the left screen. And if I go to the right projector, now right projector is highlighted and whatever I press will go on to the projector on the right screen. So I'll go ahead and get the computer out of its screensaver mode. Uh, in order to log on to the computer, you're going to use the beginning of your UWL email address. Uh, that's going to be the username. Then the password is going to be your UWL net ID and that's the way we'll log on to the computer. Uh, and then in order to show the PC on the left projector, this is where we'll start. We'll highlight left projector and we'll make sure PC is pressed. And then on the left hand screen, the PC is going to show up for us. If I wanted to switch something on the right projector, then all I would do is press the right projector and go ahead and press that button. The next thing on our list is the laptop. We have two different laptop functions. We have the regular analog laptop and the digital laptop. And all the things we need to connect our laptop are right here in the cubby on the teacher station. If I lift that, this up, we have our analog or our VGA connection and our digital or our HDMI connection. I'll go ahead and pull that out. We also have a power supply in there so you don't have to rely on your battery. You can plug right in. I'll pull that out and plug it into the port on my computer. I'll take the audio cable and I'll plug it in on the right hand side on my uh, headphone jack and then my laptop should be ready to go. I'll go ahead and press the laptop button and I'm going to use the laptop on, for my analog laptop VGA connection and then it should show up on the left projector for us, which it did. If it doesn't show up, it's probably because I haven't told my computer to go into the right mode and the way you do that is to hold down the function key and tap the F8 key. Uh, that's going to bring up a nice little menu for me. Yours, you might have to go through that uh, manually a few times just to get to the right mode. So we'll duplicate so that whatever I show on my screen shows up on the big screen. So right now on our left projector we have laptop and on our right projector we have the PC. So the next thing that we can talk about is the Blu-ray. We'll go ahead and stay on the right projector and we'll press the button for Blu-ray. That's going to bring up our Blu-ray controls there. Your play, your stop are on the left-hand side. Your navigation controls and your menus are on the right-hand side. Full screen video is going to be here. And we can uh, preview what we're going to see. And we still have our controls. We can hit the back button to go back. 
Uh, the Blu-ray is located here on the right-hand side of the teacher station. Uh, you can use the front panel controls as well. And I'll also note that the, the Blu-ray will play your regular DVDs. So if you had just a regular DVD and it wasn't a Blu-ray, you can still go ahead and play it in the Blu-ray DVD player. It's a good time to talk about the volume. Since Blu-ray was the last thing that I pressed, that's what's going to be controlled by the volume. So right now what we have on the screen is on our left screen, we have my laptop, and on the right screen we have Blu-ray. Since Blu-ray was the most recent button press, that's what our volume is going to control. So the little volume knob here will control up and down whatever the most recent button press was. The next thing we'll do is the document camera, and we'll go ahead and switch that onto the left projector. So I'll switch to the left, and then we'll press document camera. And so uh, on our document camera, on the back port, port portion is our power button. Once that light becomes a solid green, we'll know that it's on. We have our zoom wheel up here by the camera to zoom in and zoom out. We have manual and autofocus. And it takes just a few seconds, just like for all the different sources. Once you press that document camera, it takes a few seconds to sync up. And then whatever I do on the document camera will show up on the screen. Now, if I wanted to put that document camera up on the right projector as well, I'd have to switch over to right projector and hit the document camera. And then I would have the document camera showing on both screens in front of the room as soon as the projector syncs up with everything it needs to sync up. The final source that we'll talk about here is our auxiliary source. If I press that, it gives me a couple of different options, S-Video or Composite Video. And those connections are located down here in our cable cubby. If you had like a video camera or an iPod or something like that that you wanted to hook up and show uh, what's happening, you can go ahead and plug those cables in and then use that device to go ahead and control it and select the corresponding button and then you'll be all set. On the left hand side of our touch panel here are our left projector mute and unmute and our right projector mute and unmute. And when I hit left projector mute, what's going to happen is the projector will mute. It will not power off. It's just going to send a black signal out. And then the screen is also going to go up. And the reason that happens is so that now on the left hand side of the classroom, I can go ahead and write on the whiteboard and do whatever I need to do on the whiteboard without having to power the whole system down and without having to power the right projector on. This way I can have my document camera up on the right. I can have my uh, whiteboard materials being written on the left and I don't have to power the whole system down to accomplish that. Uh, and then in order to bring the screen back down and put the projector back in its normal mode, I would just hit that left projector unmute button. The bottom button here is our help button. It's very important. Uh, it brings up the names and phone numbers of a couple of members of our academic technology services team. If you ever have problems during a class, go ahead and press the help button and call one of those numbers. Uh, I'll go ahead and press OK to get out of that and back to my normal settings. And the last thing I'll mention is that in the bottom right hand corner of the screen is our system off button. When I press that, it's going to ask me if I'm sure, do I want to power down? When I click power down, it's going to power off both projectors and it's going to bring both screens up for us. And that's very important to do so that we save the life of the projector bulbs and make them last a long time. So if you ever have any questions or ever have any concerns at all, please contact Academic Technology Services. Thank you.